Oh yeah. Hey everyone, Dr. Dolls. This segment, I've taped the second half of what you're going to see first. Now I'm doing the first part last. Because <clears throat> I had them set up in here. Okay, I'm showing you a couple of play haunted houses for children, okay? Uh, they're made out of cardboard. <clears throat> and they're both from the same company, although they are somewhat different. Uh, they're from, I'm looking at my notes because I can't remember everything, uh, CSS Industries, okay? I'm showing you two, and they're from 2003 and 2004. <clears throat> they are from a company, from a part of the company that's called uh, PMG, okay? And that stands for Paper Magic Group, okay? Now, the Paper Magic Group of CSS Industries sold... Halloween related items, okay? And guess what everyone, for you Jimmy people, in 2012 PMG, Paper Magic Group, was bought by, <clears throat> yeah, you guessed it, Jimmy. Jimmy bought Paper Magic Group. So the houses I'm about to show you aren't a Jimmy product, but the company that made them are now owned by Jimmy, okay? So, <clears throat> The colored one uh, was 2003, okay, and uh, as you can see, it's it's uh, for little kids. It's for little little children. You can't really. I got in it for my picture, of course, but as you can see by the picture, I kind of hung out a little bit, okay. And it's just cardboard. It's kind of a little bit of a pain to put together, but not not too bad. <clears throat> it goes together in just a few minutes. But you can see the kids are pretty small. And this is the, um, yeah, they call it my first haunted house, okay? Because you're going to have many after that, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, it's very colorful and kind of cool for the kids, okay? Does it say what age group on here? <clears throat> I don't see an age on here. No, I don't see an age. Okay, and then this... It's by the same company. It's the same haunted house. But this haunted house is just the outline to, so the kids can color the haunted house. This is also referred to as my first haunted house. Just a thing for Halloween, yeah. But the kids get to color the pictures. I think that's kind of cool. Let's flip this so we can see it a little bit better here. Yeah, the kids get to color the haunted house any way they want to. And see, this is the exact same haunted house here. Okay, I don't know if you can see this okay. But uh, one's colored by the company and one's not. So the kids can color this. I think, yeah, I'm, I discuss it on the second part. I think the kids would want the non-colored version so they can color it. You know, it's a big task though. They never finish it. Never. Never. Yeah, they'd start and they'd get bored. Yeah. I doubt if any kid ever finishes. These are kind of hard to come by now because they're cardboard and people uh, don't take care of things well. So even even I, this, this box that I'm holding right here from 2004 was never opened until I did this show. Okay, it's, it was brand spanking new, totally taped up in the box, never opened, never put together until I did it for you guys on this show, okay? Now, the, the, the other one that I had, the one that's already colored in, that I had opened a couple of years ago, but until that time, nobody had opened that either. They were both totally unopened until I owned them, okay? So this one here, though, the one that you color, I just opened uh, just a couple of days ago and, and put it together just so I could do the show for you and show you, because I don't like to open things up uh, if I don't have to. And I like to just keep them in the package, but this, but I opened it up for the show. Not that you guys are going to be thrilled about it or anything, but uh, yeah. So uh, let's go to the second segment, which I already taped, okay? All right, now here are the houses side by side. And uh, I don't have a lot of room in here for two full-size playhouses next to each other, but you can see here that they are, I'm getting glare, I know, on the roofs like on this one here because this is the painted version of 
the house that is already done for us okay you can see this is the unpainted version so the kids can color this one's got the chimney on it this one does not you can see there's the uh, vulture and here's the vulture okay and the ghost and the ghost see so this is what you'd have to color kids it's it's tough it's got to be tough but I've got the house like flipped so this side that you see here is not the side you see down here it's like on the other side that's what you have to color I'm not tripping over myself here that's what you have to color I don't know what you would want as a kid I suppose the coloring would be fun yes but uh, you know if you want to just play in the house and not have to do all the work all the upkeep you know then you just want to buy this house here okay so it just depends if you want a, a already done version or you want the coloring version so probably most kids would probably just jump to the coloring version wouldn't you think but uh, they're pretty big it's it goes up to like my my waist here and uh, uh, it's more for like a smaller child though you know like a second grader on down maybe depending if your child's normal size my grandson's a little on the big big guy side so the, he's he gets in these you know he's got in these since I built them but he don't fit in them too well okay let's take a look inside shall we and see how dull it is <coughs> I think they should have um like did a little decor inside too because well you can't see anything in here can you no too dark it's too dark let's, let's see if I can move it's got the it's got windows on both sides here okay so there's windows on both sides just like over here you can open the windows yes I don't have gloves on uh, open the windows on both sides and then there's a door on both both ends too okay that's the door let's get up here push into it and you can't see a thing in there no lights no electricity it's a haunted house. I guess there wouldn't be no electricity, would there? Or would there? Just depends, you know? But anyway, that's our haunted houses put together. Ugh. I'm on my knees here. And side by side. So, for the Dr. Dallas show. Yeah, I'm, I'm filming this part first. And then filming the first part of this video second. Yeah. For room purposes you know you'd have to be here you know but here they are full sized full size for kids haunted house i i don't believe they ever made any other cardboard haunted houses like this for children for halloween i think this is the only ones i've ever i've ever run across now if you guys have ever run across ones like this that are for halloween i'm not talking regular little cardboard playhouses I'm talking about Halloween haunted house things for children I would love to hear from you and love to hear what they were or what brand or whatever so I could hunt them down because these are the only haunted houses I've ever seen play haunted houses I've ever seen for children made for children like this whether it be cardboard or not uh, now more recently they maybe they have made something but these are from 2003 and 2004 so I haven't seen any other since now I've seen like novelty ones I own a like a, a jack-o-lantern um, like a uh, tent for Halloween uh, that would be more for kids but I do not I've never seen play haunted play house haunted houses like this so if you guys have any info on any other existing houses like this let Dr. Dowles know and see if I can track them down. So for the Dr. Dowles uh, Spook Show, forgot what my own name, my own show is. Yeah, so the most unspooky spook show on YouTube, the Dr. Dowles Spook Show. I'll see you guys next time.